so Dogecoin is expected to break out and rally soon while it may hit a new all-time high following Bitcoin. Meanwhile, Elon has posted a rather negative tweet about Dogecoin. These tweets may suggest that Elon has withdrawn his support from Doge. In this video, I'll talk about some facts that'll prove whether it's true or not. Hello guys and welcome back to Crypto Fire, where we talk about Dogecoin, cryptocurrency, and investing. Before we move forward, I'd just like to remind you to subscribe to our channel and turn on post notifications. This will make sure that you never miss our time-sensitive updates. Now, let's get started with today's video. So analysts are saying that Dogecoin's price is set to reach a critical milestone, which might signal the start of an exciting new bull run. They said that it's unsurprising that other cryptos have found more success recently, given their current velocity. Simultaneously, Doge remains perilously near the breakout area without progressing. And as Dogecoin's price is increasing at a 64% clip, some analysts think that it might hit 30 cents, which would serve as the top border for its symmetrical triangular shape and put the bullish target of roughly 43.5 cents into context. Now, if we see current prices, Dogecoin is trending over the 26 cents mark and it looks that it may get near 27 cents anytime soon as predicted by analysts. Doge has gained 7.4% in the last 24 hours and more than 12% in the last 7 days. And Dogecoin price analysis indicates that the price gain during the previous 24 hours following a third consecutive day of positive trading. In general, the Doge price has improved during the last week, rising from 23.5 cents to its current level of 26.5 cents. So as the Doge sell-off continues, experts are saying that we may see a strong foothold at 25 cents if additional selling pressure is forthcoming. Additionally, Doge price is consolidating following the formation of a symmetrical triangle pattern on the daily chart. This means that, while the bulls may be taking a breather, sufficient technical indications support this trend, which is pointing to higher prices in the near future. And according to a recent technical analysis of Dogecoin's price, it has the potential to increase by up to 64%. The current pattern is an impulsive rising channel that, if prices continue their upward trajectory, has a decent probability of fulfilling its forecast. Experts went on to say that Dogecoin is projected to experience favorable growth in the near future, with its 200 DMA acting as a crucial resistance level. Nonetheless, it has been steadily growing and will likely continue to do so for the foreseeable future. However, before bulls can get enthusiastic about a potential bull run, Dogecoin must first overcome immediate resistance at a 50% Fibonacci retracement level priced around 25.5 cents. So to resume its ascent, Dogecoin must break through the 200 DMA, which has acted as a powerful barrier to recent price increases. Now as we have seen many times how Elon Musk has supported Dogecoin, there were some speculations about his association with Dogecoin Foundation. However, Elon Musk has denied that Jared Birchall, the head of his family office, is a member of the Dogecoin Foundation's advisory board. Musk stated in a recent tweet that he, Birchall, and none of his associates are involved in the organization. Meanwhile, the clarification sparked widespread confusion within the Dogecoin community, as it implies that the foundation misrepresented its affiliation with Musk's team. However, Musk's clarification didn't impact the market as Doge managed to gain significant momentum throughout the day. Now, some might think that Elon has sold all his Doge holdings and that he won't be supporting it anymore, but I think it's completely false. So in another tweet, Elon Musk confirmed that he doesn't own the Shiba Inu token. As we know, Elon Musk currently owns a Shiba Inu dog and he has made jokes about Shiba Inu, but he does not own the coin. Recently, Musk revealed on Twitter in response to one of the several Shiba Inu accounts that he did not own Shiba Inu, despite being a hugely significant figure in that community. And Musk had previously stated that he owns only Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Dogecoin. The disclosure also included a piece of advice for all maximalists, whether they believe in Bitcoin, Shiba Inu, or any other crypto, that confidence in a coin is less important than the ecosystem of services created around it. Seeing this, I think that Elon Musk favors Dogecoin over its copy Shiba Inu since he has been actively involved in improving Dogecoin and establishing it as a globally viable medium of trade that is fast, cheap, and scalable. Besides, Elon stated in another tweet that several of his staff also owned Dogecoin, which was one of the factors that prompted him to invest in it. 
Talking about Shiba Inu, according to CoinMarketCap data, Shiba Inu's daily trading volume has already surpassed $14.5 billion. Notably, it has exceeded either, which has seen a trading volume of $14.3 billion during the last 24 hours and Shiba Inu is now the third most traded crypto overall. It currently controls the majority of Binance's spot crypto trading volume and it is by far the most traded digital asset on Coinbase. Meanwhile, we also saw recently that Shiba Inu hit a new all-time high. However, according to market researcher Ben Kaslin, speculation is the primary reason for Shiba Inu's extreme price swings. The community has recently been abuzz with speculations of Robinhood listing Shiba Inu, which is expected to serve as an additional catalyst for the surge. On the other hand, nothing appears to be able to compete with Bitcoin, which continues to expand despite China's mining prohibition. Experts believe that Bitcoin has profited from China's infamous crackdown on cryptos, which began 150 days ago, and the crypto sector has recovered rapidly as there is no evidence of the crackdown's impact. Bitcoin has regained its footing and the network is once again safe, with Bitcoin prices soaring each week. Willy Wu, a well-known Bitcoin on-chain specialist, took to Twitter to voice his viewpoint. He thanked China for the increase in Bitcoin prices and implied that the country will regret its crypto ban. Moreover, he jokingly referred to these measures as selfless because they promote Bitcoin more than China does, and even some government authorities are backing Bitcoin as a valid and safe payment method. Recently, the head of El Salvador's Central Reserve Bank stated Bitcoin will shed its speculative stigma and demonstrate its viability as a legal payment mechanism. He even anticipates that Bitcoin's famed price volatility would help the economy expand faster than the bank's forecasted 9% growth this year. Now we have seen El Salvador's government backing Bitcoin, and I think this is a good notion for the overall crypto market. On the other hand, Colombia is set to follow El Salvador's lead as crypto ATM continue to thrive in Colombia. So we are seeing that the adoption of crypto in Latin America has been accelerated by El Salvador's recent adoption of Bitcoin as legal cash. And Colombia led the pack in terms of ATM in Latin America before El Salvador and was second only to Venezuela in Chainalysis 2020 Global Crypto Adoption Index. Alejandro Beltran, CEO of Buta.com, stated that Colombia has remained a significant crypto transaction hub and given Venezuela's position in the top three of the Global Adoption Index and proximity to Colombia, the increase in ATM could be attributed to crypto transaction interactions with Venezuela. Alternatively, he added that the crypto ATM could be making some financial transactions more efficient than cash could. Now, this is yet another case showing the rise of crypto adoption throughout the world. And in another case, it has been reported that the Bank of Israel recently began its own crypto pilot program with the goal of establishing a CBDC on the Ethereum network. According to recent reports, Israel is in the early phases of CBDC development and has chosen to use Ethereum. Yob Safar, the central bank's CBDC project manager, indicated that they chose ETH technology for a trial not because they anticipate utilizing it in the future, but because it was available. And the goal of this trial is to determine the merits and disadvantages of digital currencies, and for that purpose alone, Ethereum is a viable option. Meanwhile, numerous businesses in Argentina are allowing payments in Bitcoin, Doge, and other cryptos. Regional news outlets reported that a local company Bitrefill was issuing 138 prepaid cards for use at various establishments – Freyva, Lacoste, Dexter, Isadora, Cheeky, Erdmum, Uber, Movistar, Claro, and Personal are among those taking part in the program. Users can make payments using one of six cryptocurrencies including Bitcoin, either Dogecoin, Litecoin, Tether, and Dash. However, to use the card, funds must first be changed to dollars or euros and then back to Argentine pesos to complete the transaction. Additionally, analysts say that because citizens of Argentina are constitutionally prohibited from purchasing more than a tiny and taxable quantity of US dollars every month, the allure of crypto is understandable. Additionally, the country has approximately 20 authorized cryptocurrency exchanges, with one of them named Ripio approaching a million users recently. It has also been reported that apart from crypto adoption in Argentina, corporations are eyeing the country as a Bitcoin mining destination, and one important reason for this is Argentina's low cost of electricity. 
and coming back to Doge, we are seeing that it is holding well over 26 cents and given the recent surges in Bitcoin and ETH, and how experts expect they will continue to soar in the next months, I believe Doge will follow suit. This is widely anticipated, as Doge's 30-day correlation with Bitcoin remains high. Given this, I have a bullish outlook for Doge and believe we will see Dogecoin pumping in the next weeks. However, do not consider this as financial advice and conduct your own research before investing in cryptos. Besides, do you believe Doge will pump in the near future and go over the 30 cents mark? Let me know in the comments section below.